So what's up, family? I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in forever. I decided to do my soapbox downstairs because John's upstairs listening to his politics. And me personally, I'm not necessarily into politics. So I'll come down here and wait for my Tostino's pizza to finish cooking, which I have about eight minutes left on my timer. And then I'm gonna eat my Tostino's and finish my drink because that's what I do. So anyways, I haven't been on here in forever. Those of you, hi Craig, miss you already. I haven't talked to you in forever, aka five minutes. Um, so anyways, for those of you that have been following me, obviously you guys know that the last couple of weeks have been holy hell for me. Um, yes, I did have a family member pass. Um, and I also, it was my dad's birthday and you know, he passed three years ago and it's just, just boom, 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 boom. You know, that's all it always happens, right? It's always boom, boom, boom. And then, you know, then it's over and then you found another set of boom, boom, booms. Anyways, so it's been a long couple of weeks. So in case you guys are wondering why the hell I haven't been on here, it's because I didn't feel like coming on here to be quite honest with you. So here I am. Okay. And what's up, Art, Matt, you guys made it. Um, so anyways, I had to come on here because this past weekend was awesome. Like saying awesome is not even the word for it. It was super awesome. So we had fashion week in St. Pete. What's up, Bobby? Um, and it was awesome. Like it was so cool. Okay. So there's a couple different awesome levels to this. Okay. So awesomeness number one is we're very well known in the city. Now, obviously I know we're pretty well known around town. I'm not like even pat myself on the back. I'm just simply stating we're well known and that makes me happy and like warm and fuzzy inside because we work our ass off for this. So of course I want everybody to know who the hell we are, okay? So I will be very straightforward with you and I'm super happy everybody knows us. <laughs> so we were able to do this fashion week and it was really cool because, what up Art Art? Um, thank you for sending the newsletter. You're awesome. The best ever. Hi, Nicole. So I, I just thought it was really cool. Like it was something different, you know, cause we're always doing, you know, all these other things, you know, whether it's fitness related or something else related. And I always talk to John and I'm like, ah, oh, you know, I want to do something different. I want to, you know, see different people, this and that. And honestly, I think I needed a little bit of that. Hi, Jenny. I got an abundance of different things that we got to do this weekend. So we went to this beers and bow ties. We went to obviously every single event on Thursday, Friday, Saturday for the fashion show leading up to the fashion show. It was so cool, guys. Like, it's so cool to see that John, because I'm giving him full credit. I'm not taking like any credit for this at all, even though I'm a female and I should totally take all the credit for everything, but I won't. Um, and he gets full credit for creating this like line, this Titan line, you know, and he has come up with a badass line, you know? I mean, the leggings are badass. The tops that go with it are awesome. You know, obviously, he'll have me throw on some things here and there and be like, hey, do you like it? And I'll tell him, like, no, I don't like the way this fits. No, I don't like the way that this hugs my hips. Oh, I don't like this. It looks like we have camel toe, yada, yada, yada. Not cute for females, okay? Um, so I do put my two cents in. Okay, I get a little credit. But... He's the one that's come up with the whole line. So I think it was like super cool for him to also see some of it come alive because we've been talking about, you know, this has been years now, guys. We've been open for seven years and we came up with the line after being open for one year. So it's been, you know, been going, you know, so to actually see it like, you know, on our athletes and going like walking down the runway and stuff. Yes, Justin, you know what freaking camel toe is. Okay. Maybe say it on here twice. Okay, you guys are lucky. I don't care what I say on my soapbox, okay? People that don't like it can kick some rocks. Anyways, so <laughs> it was just really cool. It was cool um, to have some people pop up on there and, you know, wear our Titan clothes, and they were all into it. I was so proud of our athletes, for real. Like, our athletes did a really, really good job. So I was super proud of them, and it was a great turnout. Donna put on a great event, and, you know, they went down there, and they strut their stuff, and they kicked butt. They kick butt. I was super, super excited that it turned out that well. Um, so that was a super highlight. I mean, I definitely needed something where I can go and mingle and jingle with a couple of other people that had some positive vibes and stuff like that, especially after the couple weeks I've had. I have had a couple very, very long weeks. So 
I'm proud of them. Also, while I'm on here, because I'm sure that a couple of my girls at the office will watch this, I'm super proud of my girls too. I mean, I'm very proud of our team just in general. Like I'm super proud of our team. You know, lately I do feel, I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I do feel like I, it's maybe it's just a society thing. Okay. Cause I know now I'm starting, I'm starting to feel like, okay, it's just, it's not just a Sharice thing and it's not just a Titan medical center thing. It is definitely a society thing. Okay. Maybe it's a Florida thing. I don't know. I have no idea. Okay. All I know is that guys, I literally, sometimes when I'm talking to people, I literally feel like I'm talking to like a wall. So if I'm like, okay, let me give you step-by-step -step instructions on what I need done today, right? And I take a piece of paper, right? And I write down step number one, go do this and do this, this, and that. I mean, let me give you an example. So step number one, go grab a green highlighter. Step number two, go grab a purple highlighter. Step number three, get a piece of paper out of the copy machine. So you come back and you bring me a red Sharpie. You also bring me a green Sharpie and you bring me a piece of construction paper. That's what I feel like my life has been for the past like three weeks. <laughs> literally, I literally feel like I'm talking to a wall. I'm like, I don't know what in the hell is going on with society. And I know it sure hell is not me. Okay. I know that I, I can be a little extra sometimes. Um, and you know, that's just how I'm built to be. And I sure as hell don't think we would be successful if I didn't have some of that spice to throw into the business sometimes. But I mean, what in the hell? Like sometimes I'm like, am I talking the same language as you? Like are me and you, are we both talking the same language? Because the only language I know fluently is English. So when I speak to somebody, I am talking to them in English, or I would think I'm talking to them in English, but it just sometimes I just don't get it. And it just, it's, uh, it's quite interesting, mm -hmm. especially when my patients, like when my patience level is way down here, cause you gotta think, I don't have any patience to begin with. So to have very little to none patience to start with, to go negative patience, it's a bad combination when you start dealing with some stupid people, okay? So anyways, other than that, fashion show is good. For those of you that are wondering what I'm doing, it's because I am going to eat Tostino's pizza. I'm sure that John is going to be extra excited that I shared with you that I'm going to eat Tostino's pizza. But come on, guys. I told you. I am the girl. Didn't grow up with any money, and I had to eat Tostino's. Totino's is awesome, okay? And you can get at least six boxes now for like seven bucks or whatever it is. So don't judge me and my Totino's, okay? I'm allowed to have some Totino's, all right? I, I, I'm a normal person too, most of the time, sometimes. Not really, okay. So anyways, fashion show was a success. I'm super excited about that. Um... But yeah, I just, uh, I'm, I'm really excited that everything's been going super good with the office lately. So we're doing something right there. Um, and I'm just excited. I'm so excited that things are going good. Today, I got home in my house by nine o'clock. Now that, to, to everybody else, that's probably, well, don't you think you should probably be home by nine o'clock anyway? Yeah, I do think I should be home by nine o'clock. Am I ever home by nine o'clock? No, I'm not ever home by nine o'clock, okay? I'm always working at the office until nine o'clock. And then it's another 45 minute drive home, okay? So to be home by eight o'clock, to be able to see, watch Peter read, have dinner, and, you know, eat my Tostino's pizza, okay? This is like, this is everything to me. <laughs> I told you I'm not high maintenance, okay? I like nice shit, but I'm not high maintenance for by any means. So I just like to, you know, have a little bit of nice things in my life, like Tostinos and a drink, you know? So anyways, yes, it was a very, very successful weekend. I'm very excited that I got to run into some patients, aka <clears throat> on here right now. 
Matt, it was so fun hanging out with you over the weekend. Um, oh my God, Justin. Okay, so listen, you're bringing up this assistant thing again, okay? So I do think I might have found a potential person for an assistant, okay? But I'm telling you, <laughs> I don't even know how to like, guys, I, I'm like literally trying to like flow it through my brain like four or five times before I say it since it's live. And I do say what's on my mind because I don't know any other way to be. I suck at filtering things because I usually don't have time to think about it. I don't care to sugarcoat it because I need it to come out the way it needs to come out. Because if it doesn't come out the, the way it needs to come out, then it doesn't necessarily get my point across. So this past couple weeks, though, I've had to. <laughs> Justin, you're too far, okay? You're the assistant for the eyes, okay? By the way, I need more stuff for my eyes, okay? I need that in the mail, like, tomorrow. Um, so I can see what I'm doing. And, you know, read people's text messages and get their orders taken care of for them. But anyways, um, you know, it's... it's uh, I finally think I've gotten to the point where I've accepted that I do indeed need an assistant and I'm okay with that. And I'm okay with saying that I need some help because before I think that was my little tug of war is that I was like, you know, I don't need help. Like, what are you guys talking about? I'm fine. I can do everything. You know, I might as well just do it myself because nobody else can do it. I think if somebody really truly understands what my expectations are and if I lay it out for them and they understand English, and if they understand English and can read English, they might be successful. Maybe a little bit. Just a little bit. They also have to be able to deal with me not having the filter. So when I ask somebody to do something, and you know what? I know this is doable now because I have girls in my office that I don't have a filter with. And they're just fine. Okay? They're just fine. They're still working there. They're very happy. And we live a happy-go-lucky life in our office, okay? But, I mean, yeah, you got to be able to deal with me. And I'm not the easiest person to deal with because I like shit done right. And I like it done right the first time. Because if not, it's either A, going to cost me more time because I'm going to have to go back and do what I just paid you to do. Or B, it's going to cost me my reputation because you went and did something stupid that I could have probably just done. So yes, I do need an assistant. I am finally coming to the realization and the terms that I do need an assistant, especially with some of the bigger things that we have going on that are being like set forth in front of me. So I am going to do it. I'm going to get an assistant, but I mean, man, that person better have a pretty, some pretty thick skin because I'm telling you, I just, I'm telling you guys, you guys have no idea. Maybe you guys do know, maybe you guys do know, but I really truly feel like I've been dealing with people that are just, I don't understand. I just uh, don't get it. It's, it's very disheartening, you know? I mean, Peter could probably be my assistant and he would totally get away with it, but I'm telling you guys, I'm not, I'm not even talking about one person on here, so don't even try to direct this video to one person because nobody that nobody is that special to me right now to direct this to one particular person. I am just talking about in general how smart people are. You know, it's great. It's so so great. I mean, I love this girl in the office. Um, I won't even say her name, and she wouldn't kill me if I said anything about her. But I have to use her as an example today, right? So. I've got this patient that's in my lobby and he decided he wanted to come by the office and now I'm in the office all the time. Okay. I'm on, I'm, I'm literally there like from open to close after close before open and then come home more tight in here in my bed. So I don't mind. I don't mind it at all because you know, everything's flowing smooth and going great at the office. I have no complaints. I'm, I'm much happier, you know, making sure things go right and making sure all my girls are trained up. So that way when we make this big move, we're good to go. So anyways, I had told her, I'm like, listen, I, this guy's looking for a tracking number, right? So I was like, it's from this and this pharmacy. Make sure you get the tracking number. So I'm, she, I guess the guy's sitting at the front. Okay. Hi, Ada. And so she's sitting, he's, you know, he's up there at the front and he works in the building and he's like the CEO of one of these other companies in the building. So whether he was a CEO or the guy that mowed the grass down the street or like the maintenance dude, I would treat them all the same. You know why? Because they're all the same. They're all the same patients that deserve the best customer service and that deserve 
top of the line treatment. I don't care what they do or how much money they make. They could, they could spend $150 with us a month or they could spend $2,000 with us a month and they would still be just as important. Okay. So anyways, that's just my, my take on customer care and customer service and how that works. So anyways, he's up there and I'm like, you know, what's he still doing up here? Like, why is he still up in the front? So I asked one of the girls, I go, hey, what's he still waiting for? I don't see what's so difficult about getting him his tracking number. Like, get him tra- get the tracking number to him. So she's like, oh, I just sent it to his email. So there was two pharmacies that was involved, right? And I guess she sent him the tracking number for the, the package that he had already received. I'm like, all right, guys, now you're starting to make me look kind of stupid, and I don't like it, so I'm going to step in now. So, you know, once I step in, I'm like, hey, I go, do me a favor and go and find out where that package is at. And she's like, okay, I'm going to go call the pharmacy. I'm like, why? And she's like, so I can track the package. I'm like, okay, so what do you think that tracking number that you have in the email, what do you think that's going to get you? Do you think that might get you the location of the package? Or do you think that you need to go call the pharmacy and sit on hold for however the hell long for them to give you the tracking number so then you can then go look and see where the package is. That tracking number that you currently have right now in your hands. Go and plug it in. (laughs) Go plug it in to UPS or FedEx and tell me where is the package? I thought I was going to freak out. And these are the little things that happen. See, it's not a matter of this is just, Sharice, why are you freaking out? It's, you know, it's such a minute thing. Okay. You're, 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 you're tripping, but I'm not though. And the reason why I'm not is because it happens like every five seconds. It's like something else, just something else. Like every five seconds, something new. I'm like, why? Can you guys stop? <laughs> you guys have no idea. I, I'm literally, I, I, ooh. <sighs> so anyways, I have to deal with that all day, every day. And guys, I'm dealing with this kind of shit when it comes to attorneys and lawyers. Okay. I mean, like common sense stuff. So I tell my girls in the office, like, listen, I could teach you all day how to maneuver around this EMR system, how to do this, this, and that. But I'm telling you right now, common sense, you either got it or you don't. And if you don't, it's going to be very difficult for you to work with me here at Titan. Because I'm not just here, like, in and out, you know, popping in. Hey, girls, what's up? Da, 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 da. No, I'm on the floor, okay? Which means that you have to deal with me all day long. (laughs) Which means I have to deal with you all day long. So when you don't have common sense, that is my opportunity to call you out on the fact that you don't have common sense. And I will ask you, like, I don't understand that. I don't understand why you don't understand what I am saying. And if I can break this down in any way, shape or fashion, so it's more understandable for you to comprehend, let me know. I would love to know because I, I write notes. I, you know, try to lay it out for them. I take them and show them things. You know, I just, I don't get it. I mean, I'll use another example. I am going to use another example while I have you on here. You know, I, I got a, a, a letter from building management that stated that they did not want people that are coming to get the kids to come in and out of the front door because the front door is glass, right? So, it's my responsibility to make sure that whoever's in charge of giving out these kits and they got these guys, they got these big ass tables and walking with these big ass tables and these big boxes and boom, 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 slam. Okay. Now, nobody wants the front of the building and the doors and the glass and everything slammed. Obviously, this is why they have something called a service elevator. Okay. So in the service elevator, this is the area where you bring your canes, furniture and staples drops off your cool stuff. You get to build for three hours and all that fun stuff. All that happens in the service elevator and in the loading docks. Okay. So when I told management, I'm like, listen, I'm going to make sure it's taken care of. You know, I do apologize for any inconvenience or, you know, I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. 
So I made sure to tell a couple of people in the office that are in charge of this type of thing, um, you know, of getting the girls their stuff and making sure they know where to go, where to exit, where to drop it off, that kind of stuff. So, you know, I'm one of those people. This is what I'm saying, guys. I don't know about my personal assistant now because they have to be able to know me, know me, all right, to be able to survive this. So I'm one of those kind of people that I'll tell you. And if you make a mistake, I'll tell you again. Like, hey, listen, remember what I told you? Like, don't do that. Or remember how I told you? Don't go that way. Go this way. Or don't, don't do this. Don't do that. Whatever. So if I keep telling you and then it comes a point where I was like, hmm, you know what? I'm going to sit this one back. I'm going to see what happens. I'm going to see if they are able to remember what they need to do and how they need to do it. Because... I've said it enough, right? So sit back, wait for some people to come pick up their stuff. And sure enough, I'm like, please tell me you're not going to go through that front door. <laughs> please tell me you're not going to go through the front door. You got boxes. You've got all these little, you know, you got this big old table. And you know what? Ultimately, guys, it doesn't come back to me. Like, it doesn't come back to them stating like, oh, hey, that one girl that works for Sharice or that one guy that works for Sharice, you know, they, they're whatever and they couldn't go through the side door. No, 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 no. That is not how that works, people. The way that works is that I am the point of contact. I am the manager slash owner of Titan. So if I don't tell them that this is what they need to do and this is what needs to happen and then they don't abide by that, it makes me look bad, me personally, especially when I say, not a problem. I'll make sure it's taken care of. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Could you only imagine if you told like your boss, I mean, not this, these people are considered the boss of my building. You know what I mean? I, that's what they are. The boss of the building. So sure enough, I see them. I walk them. They, you know, they walk out the, uh, you know, walk out the front door and it's, it's very easy to do. Walk out the front door. You just pull up around like the roundabout thingy. And when you pull up around the roundabout, can you, like, it's like, it's right there. So it's easy. You just like, ha ha ha, let's put it in my, put it in my car. It's so easy. Ha. Huh? Okay. So come back inside. Here I am. Hi. Hey, so, um, did you guys use the service elevator? Um, no, one of the girls, right? This is a fairly new one too. And then the other one's like a veteran that I've told a few times, quite a few times, don't do this. Make sure you do it this way. So the other one comes out. I'm like, all right. I'm like, so did you guys use the side or did you guys use the front? And they're like, oh, you know, I, uh, I, we use the front. I'm like, oh, okay. So I look directly at this one individual that I've told quite a few times. Okay. I said, why did you use the front? You know, that one time where management of the building, you know, they write, they wrote me, I'm their tenant. They wrote me telling me to get all of you people on the same page and take the service elevator down to the loading docks to load your vehicles and unload your vehicles. So you are not a distraction in the middle of the lobby where all these people are all the time and you're not banging the doors going in and out of the doors. Okay. So I had asked and, uh, oh yeah, well, I, I wasn't aware. This is the other girl, right? Oh my God. I wasn't aware. I'm like, oh my God, that was totally this person's job right here next to you to tell you. So as I'm telling this person that this was your job to tell this other new girl, cause I've told you 500 times, I look at her and she's look, I'm looking at her. Okay. And I'm like, and then she's looking at the new girl, like, so I'm like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm confused here, okay? So why are you looking at this poor girl? This is your fault because you did not relay the information. So it's your fault that these people don't know what they're doing. It's not her fault. No, 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 no. I'm not stupid. You didn't relay the information to her. Now she feels bad because she's like, oh man, I pissed off Sharice. You know, and I'm like, honestly, I don't feel bad for either one of you because I am the one that's going to look like the asshole. And I do like, I'm going to look like the asshole. I just, I just told management in the building that mm, we got it under control. It's all good. It won't happen again. I'm so sorry. And then boom, you just got these random people running outside with the, you know, the tables and the chairs and boxes and, you know, tents and all these other fun Titan things. And of course our 
logos on the side of the boxes and everything. So like, uh, if there's one thing you guys know about me and John, we like presentation. Presentation is everything. Uh, that's not just with what we do. That's everything. That's like your whole life. Presentation is everything. Okay. You can present something and it come across totally shitty or you can pre present something and it come across in a way different manner because of the way you presented it. So either way you look at it, presentations are everything. You got two people that are out there in Titan shirts and they're going totally against what we were told that we should not be doing in the building. And John and I like to abide by the rules. Okay. So it just, it makes us look bad, you know, makes us look bad. Didn't like it very much at all. Mm -mm. I mean, I'll tell you, I don't, I don't bite my tongue. So of course I did say, you know, I, I, I pulled her aside. I told her straight up. I'm like, listen, did I, did I, or did I not tell you that we weren't using the front doors? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so, so <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, 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 so why did you, why'd you do it? <laughs> like, I just, I'm just so curious. Like if you, if you remember, thank you for your honesty. I appreciate that. Then why'd you do it? Um, well, it was just easy, you know? She parked up there, so I just wanted to run out there real quick and put it out there. That one minute that you ran out there and took the table and it scratched, scratched up the front door of these wonderful, beautiful glasses in front of like a beautiful water fountain at a Class A property. Thank you for that very much. So anyways, like I was saying, I am dealing with the smartest people on the planet. But, you know, it's little things like Tostino's pizza that make my day better. You know? It's like a whole, like, $4 in a box. I mean, come on. Can't get better than that, right? No, actually, Eddie V's, like, lobster tails and, you know, crab and, you know, a couple other things there make me feel good. But we won't talk about that right now. But anyways, I am going to go enjoy this pizza. And uh, I'm so happy I was able to show you guys the soapbox tonight because Lord help me, I I don't even know what's been going on the past couple of weeks just kind of meshed together. I will say that Fashion Week, I do feel like it kind of just brought out a little bit more happiness inside of me. And I was able to kind of, you know, pull down the sadness and put it to the side for a second and just... Hey, you know, I got to do this for work and then the work ended up being fun. So I cannot complain about that one bit. I was very, very happy about that. Um, and we do have a lot of big things coming up, you know, so you have to be able to set aside, you know, the different things in life that, you know, some personal things from non-personal things and be able to leave the personal things at the door. You know, it's not always easy, but it's doable. Don't let anybody tell you different. So, yes, Andy, it was awesome to meet you. You're in my email as a reminder for me to call you. And Mondays are absolutely horrible. So that's why you did not hear from me. But you will tomorrow. Just so everybody knows, one last thing while I'm on here. I would really, really want to make sure that everybody knows this. If you happen to be ever so lucky. Yes, I did use that. Ever so lucky to have my personal cell phone number. I am going to politely ask you to not share my personal number with anyone. So yeah, the phone number to the office is 727-389-3220. And that's the number they should call or text if they need anything. Or if you are my friend or you know me personally, then you can send me a text from your phone, not in a group chat, and tell me about your friend. And I promise, I will happily, personally take care of your friend. But do not give out my number to anyone, please. <laughs> it is literally one of my biggest pet peeves ever. Don't do it. I am begging you. If you do it, I will block you and them. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I got to cut up my pizza because it's going to get cold and then I'm not going to like it. And, you know, just it's bad business. Plus, I got to go get some sleep. OK, I got home early I got, and get home early so I can come hang out for, you know, an hour. But anyways, guys, it's good to see you guys. Tanisha, sending my love. Craig, miss you. Thank you for my what the uh, I can't wait to post my little 
little post-its, you know, there's a lot. I think I'm going to go through that probably by, I would say within the next three to four business days. Um, and then Bobby, Bobby, hope all is well. Andy, I will be hitting you up tomorrow. Pinky promise. Hope all is well. And thank you guys for tuning in. Joshua, it's good to see you. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.